not excited at all i mean yes we're lucky we do some nice unit but this this one is every little thing is discouraging it's like okay listen i am not a manufacturer but i'm a critical observer It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Dover, Florida, about to inspect this beautiful Heartland Corterra CT 3.0. So stick around. We have no idea what we're going to find, neither do you, but our customers are hoping we find nothing. We're going to update you at lunch and the end of the day. See you then. All right, first glimpse, Corterra CT 3.0, whatever number she gave us. Cotora is a parakeet, parakeet, whatever you call it. Looking at this, this is a new model coming in. For me, it's, uh, how do you call when you take a little piggy and you put lipstick on it? How does that make the piggy different if you change the lipstick? Absolutely nothing. It's still a box. It's still the same thing. It's a new model, new floor plan from Heartland. So we already have an idea of what they're going to use for material. But as we walked in here already this morning, it's like Lowell just told me, she says, I had to check if there was propane. And as we opened this and the, the bay door, it starts smelling propane. Oh, that's good news. But whatever, that's not a manufacturer, is it? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So I used to be indecisive. Now I don't know. I'm kidding. Hope you got that one. This is on you people. And it's also how you're going to be treated. That reflects how you're going to be treated. I'm not gonna tell you where we're at. It's one of those big dealership. They've known this for about three weeks that we were coming here on this day, at that time, at this day. So our customers talking to service from Ocala, Michigan, Jacksonville, to Dover, Florida, to Tampa. Nobody talks to each other. You have a lot of contacts, but none of them talk to each other. So that's what's gonna happen. I gotta whiff of that propane again. That's what's gonna happen when you're gonna come and pick up your unit. This is how you're gonna be treated. So prepare yourself for this. Be armed, bring your lunch, be ready to say sayonara and get out of here until everything's fixed. This is the state of the industry. I think they have more in, on their hands that they can handle basically. So that's, that's the problem. I think at this pace, we're gonna go back to the normal when they had all the time in the world to set up everything, prepare everything and follow appointments. Because I don't know how long you can be able to sell units like this if it continues looking like these. So now let's chase this down and I'll see you at lunchtime because overall it looks good. I went around it a couple of times. The box looks good, the structure looks good. Now we're gonna go see this new construction, this new build, so I'm gonna start walking in, look at the roof before we get the slide outs out, so to see how the structure is built, what it looks like. Let's go back to work and we'll see you at lunchtime. So come on in, let's do my first glimpse and my stow and go. Right now, right against this, I want you to see my first glimpse. Now the first glimpse here is that if we open up these slides as is, it's going to take off the door handle of the pantry. So good thing we saw that. And so whoever's going to be owning this, and you know who I'm talking to, you guys need to make sure that that door is shut and secure. So as far as your stow and go, you're not going to have access to your kitchen. So you better pack a sandwich, but you do have access to your bathroom and you also have access to your bed. So that's pretty good. You can sleep, you can shower, and you can use your own bathroom. As far as the stow and go, it's kind of like a, mm, but it's a fifth wheel, right? So a lot of people, they just pack their own lunch anyways. So we'll see you at lunchtime. All right, lunchtime recap. Heartland, not excited at all. I mean, yes, we're lucky we do some nice unit, but this one is, Every little thing is discouraging. It's like, okay, listen, I am not a manufacturer, but I'm a critical observer. So sometimes the way they manufacture, and I understand some people want to go, well, I got a budget. I don't want to pay more than so much. Well, that's what you get when you cannot or don't want to. But for those who wonder, well, why am I paying this price instead of this price? These are the reason why you're paying sometime a little bit more. The product they're putting on, what they're using, the attention to detail that they're doing. This is a brand new floor plan, brand new design, whatever it is. So that's a new model for Heartland. But in terms of structure, I've got a lot of little things. Um, and I'm gonna spare you for the details. So I'm just gonna go in, in the bigger things. See, for me, right here, it shows the quality of construction in, in my mind. So here's the bolt that you adjust your height for your leveling system. 
All right, well, I didn't loosen that up to show you this. This is how it is. And in order to make this work, you gouge your sheeting. Are you for real? Uh, whatever. So here's the same thing with the floor. Brand new. I'm already gouging the floor. Okay, so how do you feel with this? I don't know. All right, let's say it's all right. Everything is good. So here's another structure. I've got outriggers here. So see, those are outriggers that leaves from the frame, goes to the outskirt. So you anchor that down. You don't anchor this one. You don't anchor this one. You don't anchor the other one. I mean, what have you been doing? Were you on break the whole day? Get out of here. Let's get on the other side. On this side, I have less issues. But just to say, this is, so this is paint, but this is decal. So the decal is already chipped. You're already missing a piece. Ah, who cares? It's new. Get over yourself. It's a freaking RV. Again, same thing with these. I've got these anchors that are pulling. I can't say nothing. This is how they make those. This is how they're built. And by the way, some of them put sealant in between the trim. Some of them don't. The consistent inconsistency is phenomenal. Am I excited about this brand? You tell me what you think. So now I got a roll that don't even do nothing. So I don't know why I got a roll here. Oh, but it's good when it's closing because I can see it rolls right up here. So it'll touch here. Woo! So awesome unit. Beautiful. I'm happy for whoever's going to get it. And with a report, it's going to be all the problems that I got a lack of sealant up there, up there, here. Everything, like I said, it's consistently inconsistent. We'll see what the end of the day will bring us. For now, let's go check with Laurel what she's got. So it's lunchtime, and I have quite a few little things to tell you about, but we're going to start over here. You know, you buy a brand new unit, whether you're paying 50, 80, 150, 400 thousand dollars. You want it new, right? So this is a brand new couch. As you can see, I mean, this is not even attached. We've got a nice rip right here in the leather. But not only that, they have these little cute end tables. Well, the end table is quite loose. That cover is really loose, but the whole end table is loose. Okay, so it's new. What do you want? Pierre likes to say, get over yourself. It's just an RV because we've been told that at a big RV dealership once before, but you're the one paying, right? So you want it to be nice when you pick it up. So the other thing coming into this beautiful pantry right here, I love this because it's this walk-in pantry, which is really cool and nice feature, but down at the bottom, this whole entire trim is loose and coming apart and there's gouges. And then up at the top, we have broken wood right here where the lock attaches. You know, for me, I don't care what I'm paying. I don't want it to look like that when I get it. If I do it myself after I own it, that's my own issue. Then we come over to this pantry over here. So this is not the walk-in pantry, but really kind of nice to have all this storage. But at the bottom of this door is a big gouge. Now, are they going to see that because they're going to be inside? No, but at the same time, there's a big gouge in that. You know, and the other thing, every time you try to shut the door, it really doesn't stay shut. But you can see this entire framework right here, it's all bowed. So even if I push this door in like it should be shut, you can still see that it's not fitting inside this nicely. What are you going to do? Okay, so let's go up into the bedroom. So coming up into the bedroom, I tore this bed apart as I always do, flipped up the bed and what do you see down there? Well, you can see that nothing is attached. Everything is just kind of up. That's your storage under your bed, but they didn't even attach it. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Check out this. Oh, gosh, that is a cement pad right there. This video is sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding. 
Ultimate in comfort for your home away from home, the RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Whether you're on a cross-country adventure or parked at your favorite campground, Brooklyn Bedding's RV Mattress ensures you wake up refreshed and ready for the next adventure. Experience the comfort you deserve with Brooklyn Bedding because every journey should be accompanied by a great night's sleep. They feature a 120-night comfort sleep trial, free shipping, financing, and a 10-year warranty. Upgrade your RV experience today. Visit RVMattress.com and sleep your way to adventure. A discount code is in the description below. So that's an option for you right there. So now we're going to go and do my water this afternoon. We're going to see what kind of leaks I may or may not find. Let's hope I don't find any, but we'll let you know at the end of the day. All right, end of the day recap. I got a lot of things on this brand. Oh moly. So from in the back, I've got wires going into the frame. As you can tell, these wires go into a hole that they dug into the frame to, you know, to fish that wire from one end to the other. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it's going to happen. So that's the first thing about quality people who don't put rubber around the edges so that will fray and cut your electrical or your your gas line or whatever's in there that's the first thing so in the suspension you know you got your leaf spring underneath on those fifth wheel again one of those strap band clamp that is busted why most likely because they take the fifth wheel they lift it up like there's no tomorrow and swivel it on one axle well they'll have to fix that again then you got the plug of your seven pin plug, your cord that's gonna plug into your vehicle or whatever you have. Well, that's been dragging on the ground because they've been carrying it back and forth and that thing is all worn out. That happens a lot, way more than you can imagine. I know for a lot of you that will not, I don't know if you really watch or you listen when I give you tips about something. You remember that I talked about a top test, T-O-P-T-E-S unit? You're right, a PT520A. I got a life safety issue in here. Since I couldn't use my manometer, I said, all right, I'll use this little tester because Laurel thought I was evacuating this morning. It wasn't me, it was Miss Propane. And this is why you need one of those because once in a while you cannot put a tester on there or you don't know how the manometer works, or you, you don't want to break yourself up perfect. So this could be a life savior. So here's our tank. I just happen to know because I've done it before. So this little tester, which is, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks, whatever it is, we'll link it below. But you can go in there and find, this is okay, maybe, maybe I got something that, oh, oh, oh. So this is bad, all right? So see right in there, right up here. So as you can see here, one of those valve um, is actually leaking from somewhere. I don't know if it's here or the other one. And that's where this could save your butt because once you're inside, ULP detector is not gonna say nothing until the barometric pressure is perfect and it can get into the floor. So here, right here, this is why you need one of those. And I know you've seen our videos before and who all of you got one of those yeah exactly nobody yeah typical all right we're done videoing i ain't helping you anymore this this is enough oh you want some more huh yeah right okay so that's the end of my day i'm about done i know laurel has issues inside inside i, I mean i'll forgive her because she's behind the camera so and she can edit me and cut me anytime if you saw which finger She's showing me. You would appreciate that. My wife can stand for herself. So now let's go see what she's got inside. <laughs> so it's the end of the day. And yes, I've got some stories for you. But before I do, traveling leaves you speechless. And then it turns you into a storyteller. So in the comments below, tell us the favorite place you've ever traveled to. And maybe I'll tell you mine at the end of this video. Okay, let's start over here. So we're gonna come right down here and you can see this mark right by my toe. This is from the slide ski. Yes, I'm gonna speak Russian. It is the slide ski, the slide ski. 
Then I'm gonna come over here. Now, it's small things to some, but at the same time, this is brand new, and we have some little chips of wood off the side here. A little paint will probably fix that. But let's talk about this stove. So the stove top was great. The oven is an actual air fryer, which is really cool. But do you see where the vent of this air fryer is? It's right here. So when you get ready to open up this stove, let me tell you right now, it's hot. And I mean hot. And so is the glass. Not only that, check out the glass front of this oven. You see that? See how wiggly it is? But anyways, if you have kids, be mindful of that. If you don't have kids, be mindful of it because you don't want to burn your hands because it did about burn my fingers. But let me show you something else. So if you're ever wondering where the remote to your TV is, what I suggest is that you come right over here to the couch and you actually have to open it up for guests and underneath you look for it because that's where you're gonna find it and then when you don't know where the remote to the fireplace is well you know you've got to get on a step stool and go up there because that is where I found the fireplace remote today and I wasn't even looking for it at that point thank goodness I was checking up in the cupboards so you know I always save my water Whew. I'm glad I did to the end of the day because everything in the kitchen was a-okay. Everything in the sink was mm, okay. I couldn't tell if the water was gonna stay in the sink because there's no stopper. Toilet didn't leak, but let me tell you, the shower leaked on both sides, little rivers. I haven't had a shower leak like that in a long time. As a matter of fact, I think it is one of the showers that have probably leaked the most but I had two rivers going on anyways. Of course, I cleaned it up right away. But this is something they would have had to deal with down the road, getting in the shower to find out that they had a flash flood in their bathroom. Nobody wants to step out of the bathroom onto a puddle and land on your butt. That wouldn't be fun. Then I did all of my darkening shades. I will say that a couple of the shades really had some demarcations, some lines in them. You know, I'm not sure what they can do about that. A couple of them had some frayed spots. Still, it's brand spanking new, right? So you definitely want your windows to be nice. You want your shades to be nice when you've got family coming in or friends coming in or you're just sitting in here by yourself. You want them to look nice. If you're new to the channel and or you've been watching for a while, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. So remember, and do never forget, I gotta get myself together. I'm hungry. You're on already? Yes. Then we're gonna so come up here into the bedroom. So I always. Small thing, but I'm going to point you right down here. I'm no good with putting you talking like you were drunk. I'm not. Remember, I don't even drink. Forget. If you're new to the channel, and if you're old to the channel, 